there, young lovers. It's Gary, and I'm coming to you from my living room here in Vancouver, Canada. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is Thursday, March the 11th, 2021, and this is video number 101. So as you guessed by the title of this video, I got some happy mail, yay, <laughs> from uh, a friend of all of us, and we all know her and love her dearly, from our Crystal at Bag a Day, and the whole Bod family. So. Uh, thank you, Crystal. I already ripped open and I was so eager to find out what was inside the, the package. Uh, just a little bit of a backtrack here. Uh, Crystal and I had a conversation on her one of her lives about peeps. I wasn't really sure what peeps were and uh, they were uh, described to me as like marshmallow treats that come out in the shape of little birds. Uh, during the time of Easter or Christmas, so festive seasons. And uh, Crystal was lovely enough to say that she would send me some next time that she saw them in her store. But not only did she send me peeps, she sent me uh, a huge box of other goodies as well that I'm eager to try. And of which some of the food items in the box I have not seen of before so uh it's going to be all brand new for hubby and i to try out these treats so thank you again crystal so much we did rip open a couple of the treats already and uh, i filmed a few of these uh treat delights and our reactions so i'll share them with everyone as well we had so much fun filming uh, i'll show you a little bit of what i opened huge oh my god so i'll quickly go through some of the stuff from top to bottom uh to show you what a generous person crystal is and how kind she is to share all of this yarny goodness with her with her people uh so it feels like i won one of her prizes to be honest and this is one of the balls that was in there, amongst other things, it is Hirschner's Worsted 8 and it's in the Heathered variety. I've not used any of the yarns. I've opened the box and I've gone through them already because I was so excited. And uh, yeah, I have not tried this. It's a full weight, 100% acrylic. And the colorway for this one, I believe is saffron. So really, really nice color there, and it's super, super soft. So it's a product made in Turkey, and in the eight worsted, or worsted eight, you get eight ounces. I guess that's why it's called eight. And you get 489 yards, or 448 meters. And they are suggesting to machine wash and dry Oh, you can use it for both uh, machine wash and machine dry. So really easy care instructions there. I love it. It's super, super soft. And I got it in another color as well. This one here called uh, Mustard Seed. So really nice. Super bouncy and soft. I love them. Thank you so much, Crystal. Moving right along because there is quite a number of things here. Oh. Above and beyond, like it was un unnecessary, but it's made me super happy. Uh, I looked at the price of the box and it's just phenomenal. I, yeah, I don't know what to say. Like the cost of shipping is just super expensive anywhere in the States, but also international because I'm up here in Canada. I got eight balls of these. I haven't used this yarn either. I've never heard of it before trying to show you where it is here. It's called Chasson, S-H-A-S-O-N. Uh, the color of this one is, doo -doo -doo. doesn't say, maybe it gives me a number. It's a medium full weight and you can machine wash and tumble dry this as well. It's 100% acrylic. It is 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. 270 yards or 246 meters and I still can't find the color <laughs> so it isn't a gray colorway so I don't know it's uh yeah I'm just going around and around here yep I can't see the colorway but I've got 
eight of these balls, enough to make a project for sure. And this is a very neutral and easy to uh, color, I guess, uh, combined with other colors because it's like a neutral that works with everything. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Okay, I got as well the Lion Brand Heartland, which is, I have used this, but not in this colorway. And I do love this yarn. It's super, super soft, and it has that lovely sheen to it. Uh, it is a mull, not a mull, a heathered kind of uh, style of yarn as well. And I'm thinking it might even work well with some of these pairings because they have the same heathered quality and it's a full weight yarn. Uh, what can I tell you about this yarn? Let's have a look. It is machine washable and dryable full weight yarn. In this is uh, five ounces, which is 142 grams and you get 251 yards or 230 meters. You can machine wash and tumble dry and I think I might have said that 100% acrylic. The colorway is Yosemite. So a really nice brown color. I love this color, Crystal. Thank you so much. I got two, three, four, five, six, six balls of Yosemite. I love them so much. I have a, uh, cake of this as well and it's called art yarn art flower merino this has 25 percent wool 75 percent acrylic it is a number three weight yarn and what color is this they are saying that you can machine wash but lay flat to dry uh, made in Turkey and the color number is 552 so no color name but look at that beautiful beautiful transition of color there from the mustardy yellow gold to all the way to like a bright lemon color which is kind of blowing out there I love this so much and it's super super soft oh I didn't tell you what how many yards and stuff you get in there plenty to make a huge project I think uh, okay, in the 225 gram cake, you get 590 meters or uh, through, where is it? 645 yards. They have a weird way of actually putting the yards and meters. So just down here. Love it, love it, love it. So that goes in with the browns as well as the gold collection. I also got, I got three of these. And this is a Hirschner's product as well, I believe, called Soho. And it's Noel. It is in this yellowy, sparkly yarn. So I'll just show you the label here. Oh. Soho Noel. And it is 63% acrylic, 37% polyester, and it is machine washable, and you can machine dry this as well. So great, easy care instructions. Made in China. It's a three-weight yarn, and uh, what else can I tell you? Like how much you get in there? The color name is called Starlit, or the number is 0008. It, uh, oh yeah, here we go. 100 grams in each of these balls and you get 317 yards or 219 meters. So plenty of yardage there to work up a decent sized cowl or a scarf. Really, really soft as well. Oh, I see, look, maybe this could actually do something as well in a project, but all of these colors, they do relate. There's such a great combination there of mixing what I have in front of me right now. So thank you, thank you. I have three of these balls here, a touch of Angora, and this is super, super soft. As you can tell, I already opened the bag to feel it, and it has a bit of fur on it. 
as well. I don't know what they call that halo, I guess, the halo on it. And a touch of Angora from, from Lion Brand. These three skeins that I have in my hand are called Navy Blue Marine or Navy Blue Marine. I don't know. I think I read the English and the French in that one. Uh, it is hand wash and lay flat to dry, 95% nylon and 5% Angora. So the majority of it is the nylon, but the Angora just makes it feel super, super soft. And in the 100 gram ball, you get 257 yards or 235 meters. Really lovely. It is a product of this is always the hardest thing for me to find. China. It's a product of China. Really love those colors. So they're saying it's a navy blue, but I think it's more of a, it's got more of a uh, grayness to it than a navy blue, but super, super soft and nice. Wow, I got the Lion Brand Roving Ice Cream Yarn. And, you know, I opened it already to feel it. So I was talking about this in a couple of episodes ago when I went to my local Michaels and I picked one of these up in a different colorway though. I chose uh, the Kool-Aid colorway and I got three balls from Crystal in this colorway here. So it has the, more of a mustardy yellow with grays and this one is called uh, Bitter Honey. I love that super soft and it's the roving style yarn which goes thick to thin and it's in a mild type of twist as you can tell here with the gray with the white base and the yellow is also mild as well and what can I tell you about this it is yes that's one thing that uh, a lot of the youtubers that unwrapped these they couldn't find where the origin of the, of the manufacturer was, what country it was made in. So uh, I won't even struggle with that. It's a four weight yarn. In each ball you get 200 grams, which gives you 437 yards or 400 meters. It is 100% acrylic. And you can machine wash and tumble dry on medium heat. So that's awesome. I really, really like that. Super, super soft. And I got three of them, so I guess I could make something along the lines of maybe a baby blanket for one of my nieces. Uh, just amazing. Thank you so much, Crystal. The Hirschner's Pastry Puff Yarn. Ooh. So I got two colorways in that. And it is a three-weight yarn, 100% acrylic, made in China. Uh, the color of this one is called pomegranate and does it give you how many yards yes it does so the yardage of this is uh, do, 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 743 yards or 680 meters it is a 284 gram cake really really lovely colors there so it will transition in stripes because I guess that's what the striping uh, cake looks like when before you start working with it and I also got it in this one here love them and the colorway for this one is called frosted awesome okay so I've got a little mountain happening here in front of me. Uh, now that is the yarny goodness and I'm gonna go into the treats. So inside the box, there was another box in there and I think that was to protect the, the peeps from being squished and they've traveled in the most luxurious comfort. Uh, so they're here now in Canada and I'm gonna give them a, a, a taste test with hubby. And uh, I will probably do that a little later when he gets home from work. So I'll uh, cut in some snippets of us doing the taste testing within this video. Okay, there is one thing that I've already opened. I've not tried these before. It's called 
Almond Joy. Almond Joy. We absolutely love these. We ate one, one every day. So this is all that's left. And I'm going to try and keep this one for a film sample so that I can uh, explain to you uh, if you've not tried it and you haven't been in uh, the parts of the world that sell these, what is inside of it and how it looks and tastes to the best of my ability. Another thing that I've never tried before and in this particular flavor because I have tried the original and it's the Oreo. And the Oreo is in the flavor carrot cake, something new to me. So I, we did a taste test of these already and almost completed one, one full length of the row. So what's that, maybe around 10 biscuits? So the carrot cake Oreo and orange pico tea for hubby and me tonight. I'm gonna try one of these. I've never had them before. Excuse the chomping. Delicious. So th that's well on its way to be completed. But the rest are gonna take us ages to get through. I have another package here. It's a family size. So I. We're only a two person household. So this is gonna take us so long to get through, but uh, we're interested in trying this flavor as well. It's called Mint Flavor Cream Oreo. I think Hubby's gonna like this one the best. We did like the, the carrot cake one, by the way. Uh, it did taste like carrot cake, especially the icing on carrot cake. And we have this one here, Oreo flavored lemon lemon cream. They just smell awesome. Thank you so much, Crystal. And thank you to your whole family as well for sending these gifts to us. Oh my goodness. Breakfast cereal. It's called Pebbles Fruity. And I've not tried these at all, but I know who these characters are. It's from uh, Fled, uh, the Flintstones, Fred and Barney. Uh, we did have that in Australia, which was which was part of my pastime in growing up watching this uh, on television. And I believe from the early days when I was growing up, we had a black and white TV, so I didn't I didn't recognise them when we got the colour TV that uh, that they were Fred and Barney, <laughs> Fred and Barney, and another one here. I feel like I'm a product placement person, but no affiliation whatsoever. <laughs> I'm just amazed at all of the different types of cereals that are not available here in Canada that uh, Crystal has added in her box. So this is something completely new to me as well. It's called Cookie Crisp. Oh, but wait, there's more than just little peeps. Holy smokes. Face. This one here will be definitely a favorite of Chad's. He loves onion rings. Uh, these ones are called Funyuns or Funyuns. I think you pronounce it Funyuns. So you've got a whole bag of those. Uh, Balvita blueberry natural flavor with other natural flavor. Blueberry, natural flavor with other natural flavor. Is that, does that make sense to you? I don't know. But it's a breakfast bar, so that's great for on the go. And I think that will be good for hubby's little snacks that he can um, take to work if he's missed out on having some food. So I see two of them in here, so maybe I'll keep one at home and he can take one to, to work to school with him. And this one here is called banana bread. There we go. They look delicious. Okay, we have, I think I've seen this one before, but I've never tried them. But 
Chad said that he's tried them and he, it's one of his favourite treats. It's called Bugles, the original flavour. And next we're going to try these two here. So I got pu Bugles, what have you got? Funyuns, Funyuns, <laughs> they're so fun. This is fun. Okay, let's open them. They smell good. Oh, so, I smell onions. Smell onions. onions Do you want to go onions. with the bugles first? Okay, let's try the bugles first. Alrighty. Oh, I like those. They're good? Okay, you talk about them as I try my one. Mm-hmm. I think with savory kind of mm. snacks or chips, the first one tastes okay, and you're like, oh, okay. Then if you have two or three, then it's like, oh, then you're hooked. And then it's like... Oh, I like the taste stop. of that. Yeah. It tastes corn. Is it, is it corn it's, related? I think there's, there must be corn in there. Yeah, it's like a, almost like a corn chip. Uh, so let's try the onion rings. Do like onion rings, like fried onion rings. So we'll see with these. You take like a handful. Yeah. I'm just gonna try one. Mm -hmm. That's right. Good. This is what they look like. This one must have broken in the bag. Oh, no, actually, all of them. Oh, Chad, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, it's like an airy. Very snack, right? Mmm. These are good. Yeah. They almost... Yeah, I really like them, actually. You know when you go into burger places or your greasy spoons, they have the onion rings that they put in the uh, fried up batter and stuff? It doesn't feel like the same texture as that because there's no, no real actual onion there's in no it. There's no onion in it. It's more like the but, batter. Um, yeah. it, tastes, it tastes like uh, the same thing. Easy cheese. So I guess it's a can of cheese that you shake up. I don't know whether you shake. Do you shake this? Directions. For best results, remove cap, hold, applicator tip close to, close to food, press tip firmly. No, you don't shake it. An excellent source of cal calcium. So yeah, we'll give that a go as well. And it, we, we actually have those crackers too, so we can try it on a cracker. Peep time, peeps time. Here they are. Look how cute they are. Okay, I did promise Chad that I would wait. I wouldn't open them up until we could both try them together. So here's a pink set. I don't know whether they taste different, whether one is uh, strawberry or one's lemon. I've got a blue set here. Is it blue? Yeah. Another yellow. So I've got two yellows and I got purple. So in the next little while, I'm going to be trying these out. I'm going to take some advice from Crystal because she did write me a little bit of how she likes trying them out in her household. So I'm going to attempt to uh, microwave for a couple of seconds to soften them up and then give them a go. I'm gonna try and eat the eyes separate from the body just to see the different texture or flavor and I'm gonna do something different as well. I've never, uh, I, because they're marshmallow they might be really good with a coffee or a hot chocolate so I might dunk mine into a hot beverage. So we'll try the purple ones first and we'll see whether they have a certain flavor because of, of them being purple. Um, so I'm just gonna try it without any special like uh, eating condition yet. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see how they taste. You ready? One, two, three. Three. Mm, very sugary. Yep, very sugary. What do you think? The marshmallow part's not bad, um, but oh, it, it's sweet. <laughs> they're, little, they're little chicks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go again. Let's try this one. I'm going to eat the ice first because you know that uh, Crystal eats the ice first. You know that Crystal gave, sent yes. us these, right? Thank you. That was a nice treat. Oh, the eyes do have a little taste. They're a little different, aren't they? They're kind of more yeah. gelatin. Hmm. I think I like the yellow better. Is there a taste difference? I don't know. I'm really eager to try those different ways of eating them. So with that, uh, I 
probably will litter through this video a few of the clips where uh, I can uh, I don't know, try them out and, and, and insert the results in here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly have enjoyed showcasing it and receiving this whole box from Crystal. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much again, Crystal. It is well and truly above and beyond <laughs> any expectations. But you have... I had no expectations whatsoever. I, I, was, I was thinking that maybe you might send me a box like this. But I have this amazing box of yarn and treat to share with hubby and give you my impressions of the taste of each of these lovely delights and for people who also don't get these things like in Australia or the UK or in Europe uh, you'll be able to have fun watching me uh, try them out and give my best description that I can give. So yeah with that I will say goodbye and I'll catch you up in my next episode. Bye for now! There's a peep in my coffee.